here with uh, Carlos Condit. Um, now, you're supposed to be fighting today, you know, with Chris Lytle. You're both already headed towards the top. Um, you're out. Like, what do you, do you plan? Do you, uh, do you have anything inside or anyone you might want to fight now that uh, Lytle is doing his own thing? Uh, I don't have, uh, not an opponent yet, but um, I think I'm looking at coming back in June. Like, I should be should be re rehabbed and ready to get back in the gym here in the next couple weeks, though. Well, I mean, I keep making matchups with, like, I know, like, Jake Shields, I like to see a rematch with that, or, like, Dabo Alves. Um, what are, what, do you have anything, any plans or anything like that? Uh, I don't know. You know, I just wanted to fight one of the top guys and, you know, hopefully get myself in in, uh, in line for a title shot, really. You know, I think it's I think it's time. And how would that work? Uh, since George St. Pierre is known to go train with, like, Greg Jackson, uh, would you go to another camp, or how would that go down? Um, I don't know, man. Uh... You know, it's. I mean, it would be hard because uh, you know he is a teammate. Um, but you know, I think we we figure it out. Um, you know, I, I know that he's he's looking at maybe possibly retiring if he if he wins the next couple of fights. Um, so I mean, that might kind of alleviate that situation. But well, I mean, I'm a huge fan, and uh, this is like the coolest interview we've ever done, and we really appreciate the time you gave. Yeah, for sure, bro. Oh, man.